Hello and welcome to Math 95 Online. My name is Emily Nelson and I will be the instructor for this course. I'd like to take a few moments now and just introduce the class a little bit, talk, to, talk about how to navigate the course, as well as um, what some of the expectations of you uh, will be and what the rhythm of the class uh, will look like for you this quarter, um, as well as talk about a few things um, to keep in mind as we move forward in the course. So um, you'll notice here, if you logged into the course, you saw this page come up. This is our course home page. And uh, I want to draw your attention to um, the uh, navigation bar here at the top. You've got a lot of uh, tabs here, right? Course home, content, web work, discussions, assignments. Uh, all of these make up components of the course, okay? Now on this home page, which you'll come to when you first uh, log into the course, uh, you'll see my nice little picture there. And um, this is the announcements page. So uh, this week we have a nice little welcome message, right? Please read through this. It gives you an idea of how you should structure your week so you, that you get everything done that you need to um, this first week. Um, and I will be updating the, this announcement page pretty regularly, um, minimally once a week I uh, post something here as we start a new module you know what to expect what you need to be looking for and make sure that you uh, accomplish over the course of the week that's also listed in the course calendar and in the tasks and objectives in each module so it, it's listed in several place, places but this is usually a nice quick at a glance um, thing when you first open the course what you need to be doing for the week also if there are things that are um, uh, special, like, oh, we have an exam coming in a few days, <laughs> um, I might uh, paste that um, uh, announcement into an email and then send it to you that way to kind of hit you over the head with it. But uh, more or less, that anything that I want to tell you is going to be right here in this announcement area. Okay, so now the content tab. The class is built upon uh, weekly modules, and a few of them are already open to you. So uh, you'll notice on the left-hand side, once you're in this content tab, you'll see quite a few things. Now some of these, these this is my view, so some of these uh, modules will be opening later. Um, but you should see the introduction to online learning. If you haven't taken an online class, that has some good videos and things to look through. Uh, course information. Um, this is a very important uh, module uh, for you to look through the first week and to refer to um, throughout the quarter. If, if you want to know anything about the schedule or um, uh, standard syllabus, all of that is here. So you notice there's some uh, instructor information, the, the course syllabus, the course calendar, um, the notation standards, the outcomes for the class, a little thing on Desmos. Uh, if you're a little lost with Desmos, that might be a helpful document to you. Um, that's going to be the, the free online graphing calculator we're using, um, and also the discussion grading rubric, how I'm going to grade those um, is listed there. So all of this really important information to look through um, the first week and particularly the, that course calendar. So there's also a tab over on the left hand side here for proctored exams. Uh, that'll give you the um, dates and locations and room numbers for the exams that we're going to be taking as well as links to the um, reviews and things. I also link those in later modules uh, but anyway that that's a quick at a glance thing. Also in the syllabus and the calendar but just one more place you can find it. So module zero is not actually a content module, it just has some orientation material. So that's where you're going to introduce yourself to the class, take a little introduction survey that I have for you, um, get used to the equation editor in the discussion board area, um, and uh, also an orientation assignment with web work to get you used to how to enter things in there. So um, you're not really actually learning any math there, you're just getting oriented with the system. And the due date is going to be in the midweek. Uh, typically due dates will be on Sundays, this first one uh, with the introductory stuff just in the first couple of days. Also make sure you do the uh, activities in there by the deadline that I've set. Um, if you don't, if you dilly-dally, it's possible that I could drop you from the class because there are always lots of people that want to get into these online sections. So make sure that you get in there and do that early. So module one, you'll also need to do the first week, and that's the actual first uh, bit that you have with the math, okay? So all of these content modules look uh, more or less the same once we get into the, the content area. Um, so you're going to have um, my lectures to listen to, as well as textbook reading to do, also uh, web work, homework, uh, exercises to work, and either a discussion posting to do or uh, a worksheet. So in that lecture tab, there are links for uh, lecture notes as 
as well as the videos. The lecture notes, you're going to want to print them out. Um, be nice and print them two or three slides to a page uh, or double-sided, whatever your printer will allow. Um, and um, you're going to use those to take notes as you watch the videos. Those uh, lecture notes correspond with what I've done in the videos, so it makes it very easy for you. Collect those lecture notes in a little folder somewhere and bring them to me uh, for the exam, and I'll give you some credit for uh, filling those out. All right. Um, also, the textbook reading, I'm assuming you're doing both the textbook reading and listening to me. Do them in either order, whatever works for you. So anyway, these modules are set up so that um, there are uh, links to any activities or assessments that I want you to do for the content for that week. And if you ever have questions about any of it, like what's due when, or, um, uh, or a question about the actual content, you can always send me a note, and I'm happy to help however I can. So uh, I mentioned web work, discussions, and assignments. The tabs up here at the top, they can also give you direct links to these pages, right? And uh, the discussions, uh, any, any discussions that I've assigned will be here. Um, and then the assignments, you're going to have um, the, the worksheets referred to in the syllabus. That's the assignments tab. Um, and you can uh, go here to upload them. Okay, also if you're looking for grade, your grade, so you have a sense of uh, the scores that you're getting on things. Also in this class list tab, uh, that, that's a class, um, that's a list of all of your classmates, including myself. So uh, if you go into that tab and click on my name, there's a little email button at the top. That's, that's the way you want to email me. All right, so just a, a couple of final words about the rhythm of this. Um, uh, due dates are always on Sunday at 11 p.m. Um, please treat that as a hard deadline. So um, uh, hopefully, I, I understand that many people have to utilize weekend time if you work during the week and whatnot, but um, I really want you to try your best to do a little bit every day or several times throughout the week. You'll retain more that way. And if you find that you need some help, there's time to get it. If you wait until Sunday, not so much. Okay. All right, so I just wanted to bring up something about my videos real quick. When I made the videos for this course, I made it so that I could share this shell with other people, um, <laughs> other instructors who want to use it, be they online or otherwise, or people who want to do flipped classrooms, etc. So um, as such, I wanted to do everything in a very PCC proper way with notation and all of that. And so that's what you'll see when you, you watch the videos. So there are a couple of things that you may or may not think are strange that I do. So for example, uh, if we're solving an equation like um, 3x plus 1 equal to 7, you will see me subtract 1 from both sides in the following manner. 3x plus 1 minus 1 equal to 7 minus 1. Right, so that keeps it balanced. I've subtracted 1 from both sides. Then I have 3x equal to 6, right? And then I can divide both sides by 3, and I get x is equal to 2, right? Okay, so now many of you may have learned to do it this way when you're subtracting a number from both sides or adding a number to both sides. You do it in line with the equation in that horizontal way. It's a correct mathematical statement, so that's what uh, PCC tends to push. Now, I didn't learn how to do it that way. Uh, if I were given that same equation um, back when I learned how to do this, I would have said, oh, you got to subtract 1 from both sides, right? So <laughs> uh, I would have done it vertically like that. So we have 3x is equal to 6, and then, of course, you divide both sides by 3, and you get x is equal to 2. Okay, so if you learned how to do it in this manner, and you do that on an exam or on the worksheets that you hand in to me or anywhere where you're showing your written work, that is okay with me. It doesn't matter to me which way you do this, okay? Okay, uh, both would, would receive full credit for me. In fact, I would say in Math 95, you can start letting some of these skills go. And particularly by 111, 112, and in calculus, if you're still writing some of these t steps of balancing an equation every time, um, I'm a little bit worried. So um, from this stage, if you in your head can say, okay, if I subtract 1 from both sides, I'm going to have 3x is equal to 6, right? Since 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. And if I divide both sides by uh, 3, I'm going to get x equal to 2, okay? Uh, so if, on down the road, if you take a lot more mathematics, eventually, Eventually, that will be acceptable work to show, okay? So even in Math 95, if you're doing that, it's fine. Any of these three uh, ways of showing your work that I just um, 
demonstrated here. Uh, if you were to solve a linear equation in that fashion um, for me, for a grade, you would get full credit in any of these cases. Okay, so I just want to make that clear. Any of these ways are acceptable as far as I am concerned. Okay, the other thing that PCC loves to see is they say, okay, you established that x equals this number, then uh, what is the actual solution? So we know the variable is equal to 2, the solution set is 2, so the solution to the equation is 2. So you'll see every time I'm solving an equation or an inequality, I'll say the solution set is, and in most of my videos I type that out and then I have a little line here, right, and I would fill in, okay, the solution set is 2, right, that was the, the, the solution that we got. Okay. Again, like as you're solving things for me on worksheets and things, if you don't write the, the solution set is uh, because you didn't learn how to do it that way and it's not natural to you and you kind of forget about it, no big deal. I'm not going to get crazy about credit with that. Um, but it is technically a notation standard that we carry in Math 95. So anyway, I just wanted to get clear about um, some of that in terms of, you know, uh, there, there are a lot of different ways to do this that you may have learned and the vast majority of them are just fine with me okay all right so with that let's get started on um, the other tasks that you need to do uh, in the module 0 and also in module 1 for this week good luck and let me know if I can help